Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed morning to everyone listening to the sound of my voice. Happy Glorious Day. Hallelujah. Glorious Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Oh, Daddy, I thank you for this joyful day. Thank you for making us to begin the, to the day again with you, Lord God. Uh, thank you, Father, and in heaven for waking us up this morning to see this bright new day. Thank you, Daddy, for giving us another privilege, another opportunity to witness another year, another day. In, uh, our Father, you are worthy, Lord, of a praise. Uh, the great that I am, I worship you, Adonai, and I adore you. It's an a rock of age, and I magnify you, changeable changer. I adore you, the one that created all things that was not created. I bless your name, O oh God. I worship you for whom you are. You are well, the Lord to be praised. You are worthy well, to be adored. Ah, the King of all kings, the Lord of all lords. O many ported God, O many science God. They want to do what no man can do. They would life give her. Uh, Jehovah Nisi, I bless you, Lord. Uh, I many slept last night. They could not wake up. Uh, what slept and we wake up is not because we're married. It, uh, it is not because we qualify to say this glorious day. Uh, but by you just do it because of your mercy, your kindness, your love. Uh, in change of day, Lord God, I say thank you, Father. Be that glorified, Lord. Be that exalted. I am grateful, Lord God. I appreciate you, Daddy. Oh, Daddy, I cannot thank you enough, oh Lord. Uh, ways are not enough for me to say thank you for if I have ways all over my mouth, all over my body, it is never enough for me to say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, Daddy, from the bone of my heart, I say thank you, Father. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified. Uh, Daddy, you do well, oh God, uh, for all you have done, for whom you are, Lord God, for what you will still be doing. Uh, glory be to your name, most high God. Uh, let today be better than every other days we have passed you passed through. As we begin our day with you, Daddy, Father, King of glory, do something new in our life, O oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, as we begin our day with you, O oh God, uh, may we have an encounter with you this morning, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Uh, have your will, O oh God, in our life as your little true. Uh, the one you lead will not go astray, O oh God, leader that will not go astray. Uh, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Father God. Uh, Thank you because you're in charge again. Uh. Thank you for it's going to be great again because you're in control. Uh. Glory be to your name, most high God. Uh. In Jesus' marvelous name, I have prayed. Uh. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Uh. Hallelujah. This morning, I want to exalt us with the word of God. Uh. In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, uh, from verse 14. Matthew 6, 14 to 15. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 15, 14 to 15 says that for if you forgive others other people sorry for if you forgive other other people when they sin against you your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive forgive others their sins your father will not forgive your sins hallelujah this morning, uh, I want to encourage us this morning as uh, so we begin our day with Christ. Uh, I want to encourage us with the word of God. Uh, unforgiveness can be an obstacle on the way. Uh, unforgiveness can be a barrier. Uh, unforgiveness can lock every door. Uh, and you will struggle to open the door, but it will not open. Uh, unforgiveness can cause so many things in one's life. Uh, Uncomfortable. Unforgiveness can make one to become disobedient. Uh, this is why I come with the word of God this morning to encourage you, to remind you again. Uh, the word of God says, uh, forgive whoever sin against you, whatever wrong they have done against you. Uh, forgive them uh, so that your heavenly father will forgive. Uh, if you read it again in Mike chapter 11, 25 and uh, 26, uh, he said, if you stand praying uh, and the, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive uh, so that your father will forgive you. Uh, listen, uh, if you don't forgive, your father will not forgive you. And if you, the father does not forgive you, no amount of prayer you will pray uh, that will be 
answered. And that is why I come before thee again. You might have been praying. You might have been waiting. You might have been asking. Why have my prayer not been answered? You might you might have been accusing one man or one woman. You might have been accusing someone in your village, a native daughter over there. Listen, no one is doing it if you have a forgiveness spirit. If you hold anyone in your heart that you did not forgive, it is not your wish. It's not the wish of your village, not the native daughter. You're the one causing it. All forgiveness make you to disobey God. And we all know that the, 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 the disobedience, uh, it has its consequences. Uh. The Bible says, cause is all those uh, who, dis who, dis who disobeyed. Uh. So if you're, not, if you're not obeying God, uh, you disobey God by not forgiving. Uh. Automatically, one is placing cause on itself. Uh. Hallelujah. This is why I've come this morning to encourage you. Uh. Is there anything you're still holding in your heart? Is there anything that you have not yet let go? This morning, I've come to remind you, let go. Let go by forgiving. Uh. And the Bible says, uh, for if you do not forgive, uh, neither will your Father in heaven forgive you. Do you want to be forgiven? Of course, we all need to be forgiven. Uh. If, we are not, if, we, if God does not forgive us, how can we pray that? Uh? If God does not forgive us, how do we come to the throne of God or the presence of God to pray? Uh? Because it will be like pouring water in a basket. Uh. If you, God did not forgive you, uh, they, you have no connection with God. Uh. So for you to have connection with God, you need to forgive. Uh. Forgive so that the door of your blessings will, will open. Uh. Forgive so that there will no longer be a bridge between you and your father. Uh. Forgive so that your blessings all this long waiting answer by prayer will be answers. Uh, hallelujah. This is the word I've come to encourage us with this morning. What is it that you have not let go? Today is the day. Let it go. Forgive no matter what they have done. They are done. Uh, you and I, we are sinners. Uh, we have, might have wrong one, wrong wrong one uh, in one way or the other. We were sinners when Christ came to pay the price for us. Uh, he's paid the price, set us free, uh, and he expects us to forgive uh, whatever sin they might have sinned against us, uh, whatever wrong they might have wronged us. Uh, forgive and let go. Uh, because you are not holding, you are not holding, um, you are holding yourself in bondage by not forgiving. Uh, this morning I've come to encourage you. Whatever it is, uh, it does not want it. Uh, it is not what wasted time for now not forgiving now uh, you, you automatically lock the door of blessing uh, for so this morning i've come to encourage you let the door be open. The key to open the door of your blessing is in your hand. The key to open that door of prayer request is in your hand. Forgive so that your door will be open. Forgive so that your light will shine. Forgive so that your new door will begin. Forgive so that a new page will be open, will be torn in your life. Forgive so that you sing a new song. Hallelujah. This is what our Heavenly Father wants to do in our life. Forgive uh, so that your day will become a new one, uh, so that you begin to have a testimony to give. Uh, forgive so that those long waiting prayers uh, will be answered. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, let's let let go whatever wrong they have done done they have wronged you, so that you become a free person. Uh, Hallelujah. This is the word I've come to encourage us with this morning. May the Lord bless his word into our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, give us the heart to forgive. Uh, give us the grace to forgive whatever wrong they might have wronged us. Uh, also, give us the grace to the, the grace to those who we have wronged to forgive us, Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, glorious Father. In Jesus' marvelous name I have prayed. Uh, amen and amen. Uh, God bless you. Have a wonderful day and a glorious weekend. Amen. Hallelujah.